Moving forward towards the method number two, that is a list comprehension. So first we are again initializing our list and after that we are using a list comprehension and over here what we are going to do is we are using an all method over here. So what the all method is going to do is it's going to check all of the possibilities of the outcome which is going to get and after that it based on the fundamentals which we have passed it's going to sort our list according to that. So as you can see to here we are going through each and every for each and every element of our list number two and after that we have set an if condition that is we are going to go through each and every element in our list number one and if that element in the list number one is present in our list number two then we are only taking those elements which are not present in our list and that element we are storing it into the list number three and after that we have them as an output.